show called The Flub Date. Um, I will be your host, Flub. Um, and what this show is, and what it's about, is it is about understanding the game better, trying to get like different little nooks and crannies to help you get that plus 5, 20, 25 MMR. Generally, it's something that um, I'm always trying to work on, something that you know you can improve. And with the new patch itself, uh, it's there's a lot of information. And I want to try to condense that information down to you, give it to you in a short, uh, concise manner that you guys will enjoy. Um, I also want to take uh, maybe games that have been exciting throughout the week, tell you about them, tell you about pro news uh, a little bit here and there, the important stuff mainly. Um, stuff like roster checks, that's something that we're going to talk about early, uh, later on in this cast. Um, it's my first time doing a video podcast, uh, so uh, bear with me. Um, it's it, I have done uh, actual podcasting before. Um, I used to be a member of the dot, of dot P, and I wanted to try something new, so I'm signing in with Toffees, and we are uh, trying to suit do this different style of video podcasting. Um, I'm very excited about it. Um, I hope you will be. Um, and maybe you can help me learn how to be a better uh, podcaster uh, through video. And maybe I can help you learn a new thing or two about the new update and generally get to be a better player. And we can have more, have fun doing this and uh, make something of it. Um, so without further ado, I want to kind of go into what this show is, and we're going to go into what the topics are. And as you can tell from what I have um, down on my, I think on my, yes, my left side here, uh, I have a different, I have all these different topics. Um, first off, we're going to start with the roster check for the pros. Um, the roster check generally was, um, it was a thing that happened on Tuesday, and if you were there, if you were looking online, um, generally what happens is, uh, by, but when the majors come up, the pros have to have a list that says, okay, I'm going to be on this team or that team so that they don't have switch at the last moment. And, um, it kind of makes it so that, you know, you don't have like teams switching all the times and they're just like a, a setup point. So I'm going to go over that real quickly over what the changes are, what I'm excited about, what I can bring to you. Um, knowledge based on this epic thing, you know, that, that happens every couple months. So first off, um, eHome, eHome had CTY return. Um, personally, I'm, I think that he's a fine player. Um, I don't know too much about him. He doesn't really stick out in my mind, but uh, you know, it's it's it is it is news, you know. Um, and we're gonna move on to then escape gaming. Uh, yep, yep, horrors. Uh, leaves. <laughs> I'm probably gonna destroy these guys' names. Uh, but Yapors, uh, or Yapzor, uh, leaves Escape Gaming. Um, personally, I don't like that. I was a big fan of Escape Gaming. I think that they have a lot of potential. I think Sindarin is a really good captain. Um, and he's he he's not as strong as he used to be player-wise, but he's still one of the best Dota mines out there and. You know, if he gets the right team behind him, maybe um, he could make it really far into the inter international or into a majors. Uh, I, I have total faith in the escape gaming. Um, Fnatic, uh, Demon, Raven, and EYYOU. I'm going to butcher that name if I say it out loud, but um, that's that's to be understood. I mean, if we when you're watching the uh, different... Uh, links that they had coming out of the majors, they kind of looked like the team was falling apart. So, uh, best of luck to them. But you know, it's not gonna. We're gonna have to move on. They're gonna have to move on, and we're moving on as well. Um, so then, FDL, the team FDL disbanded. Um, that sucks. Uh, I didn't really know them too well though. So, but it's always sad to see uh, people leave. Um, team Liquid. Team Liquid. Bulba moves on. Um, I'll, I'll, that's all I'll say about that. They, he just left off, left Team Liquid. Um, we'll go on to the one that everyone was excited about, Navi's roster change. So, um, <laughs> they had Ra, Seneco, and Artstyle all leave, but Dendi and General were kind of there 
making sure this team stayed strong, kind of rebuilding a new team. And uh, one of one of the old old players, PyCat, um, everyone loves him. Uh, he's joining up. Uh, R RMN and Biver. Um, those guys seem to be new newer. Uh, at least I think Biver was. R R and MN has like been around in the scene, um, but Biver seemed to be newer. So I'd like to see what new Navi has has in store for us. Um, not today drops. Greedy, Atune, Sword basically dropped everyone. Uh, drops its whole roster. Yep, dropped all five. Uh, so, sad to see another team go. Power Rangers disbanded. Um, another team gone. Uh, at team Empire. Team Empire lost Aloha Dance. Um, he left, and G left for Vega Squadron, uh, which we'll get to here in a bit. Um, Team Secret lost leaves Forev and Keizu joins. Um, or Keizu, yeah. Keizu joins. Um, so, you know, it's roster change. Uh, I, I personally like Forev, but I, I think that, that that they needed something to change up. Uh, they just weren't looking as strong as of late. Um, so we'll move on to Imperial. Uh, Imperial had a roster change of like de just basically de going from the organization, just departing from the organization, like everybody. Um, pretty crazy. Uh, but it seems like all these teams that weren't doing so well or weren't getting a lot of um, a lot of attention are kind of disbanding and trying to start something new, which is good to have happen um, for any any team. You you don't want to have something stay still. Um, so then TNC Pro. Um, a little bit of a switch up. Uh, Cast and Tihi uh, both departed. Um, Raven returned, and Tim's joined. Now I don't know Tim's, but Raven, when he played on TNC, he did a very good job. Um, I think that that's going to be a better fit for him. I don't think Fnatic really was the right move for him to go. So I think TNC might actually stand a good chance. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll see what what's to come of them. Um. Vegas Squadron, uh, one of that I was mentioning mentioning earlier. Uh, FNG and Iceberg leave. Um, Seneco joins, which is interesting. I I, I think that would that's really cool. Uh, G joins, and FN leaves. Um, so pretty big roster change up there. Uh, I'd like to see what the boys with Vegas Squadron come up with. Um, v VC Gaming or VC Gaming. Um, they, uh, Freeze from eHome and FFY from VC transfer to VG, VGJ, and him transfers from VGJ to v, VG, VC Gaming. Um, VGJ is like a, uh, lower team, I believe, on the list. There are like, there's not lower team, but it's like a lower... Um, standing point, there's like scrimming teams, I, I believe. So I think they're like moving down a step, but really, I mean, they're still under the same umbrella, I believe. Except for, I mean, eHome is, is obviously different. Um, but uh, there's rumors about Fnatic and Bulba. I don't want to like go into that um, for what's, what's going on there with Bulba stack and uh, Fnatic. But um, just for, so people know, people are talking about Mushi, Ohio, Yamata, uh, Yamata, Yamata, or <laughs> Yamate, uh, In Your Dreams, and NJ coming together. Um, and then Bulba is like forming a new team that they think. Um, and they're thinking that it's going to be Bulba, Bulba Demon and Yawar. Um, so interesting stuff. Uh, could be some, some something to look up next week and be like, oh, well, this was in fact true. And get, get something great from this. Um, I'm excited for it, definitely. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to see. But all the American teams seem to stay pretty much the same. Um, there wasn't too much of a switch up. It's pretty great. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm good, glad to see Evil Geniuses still, still staying put. Uh, Team NP still staying together. Um, uh, the only thing that's NP's changing is that 1437 one, is now going by Rose. 
So if you get confused in the future, uh, don't worry about it. It's just one one four three seven trying out a new name, just like No Tail with Big Daddy. Um, so uh, a lot a lot of changes, not too much, too crazy. Um, our boys, <laughs> our boys uh, from the Greek background, Adfem is obviously staying together. Um, a lot of the teams that really did well are obviously going to stay together, and there's not too much of a of a breakup there. Um, so that's kind of kind of what what's been happening with roster locks. They were due on this past Tuesday. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to see what comes of all of this. And with the new patch, you never know. Some of these old teams or some of these new teams that are forming may be much better and be, be much worse. Um, I have a feeling that the meta is going to change very heavily. Um, and we're going to see some crazy stuff. We already have seen some crazy stuff. and We know it's coming. So I, I can't wait. Um, but we're going to move on to our next topic. Um, three important things that I think that everyone needs to know. Um, one, the first thing that I want to start off uh, it's actually crazy that this is this is a thing. Um, salves, clarities, and bottles, all the abilities that you have to regen health or mana, all get, we're all broken by, they're all broken by small dots now, and in the past, that's not how it used to be. Um, there was a lot of dots that existed in Dota that didn't actually break those abilities, and if you timed it just right, you would get a bump and stay alive over top of them. Um, a lot of things were like level one rot with uh, with Pudge. Um, you could heal through that or get mana through that. Um, Orb of Venom was is another one that generally, you know, it was so small of a dot damage that it actually kept them, you know, like slowed them down, but it didn't keep them from regening. Now it does. Um, there's only one thing, and I actually tested it out to make sure. There's only one thing that doesn't that I thought that would that's a dot damage that's low, is Venomancer. Venomancer's um, actual auto attack from wards and uh, for his actual like poison sting ability um, is not a way to stop regen. It still doesn't like tick on that um, because it actually says in the tooltip. So if something says it doesn't prevent it in the tooltip, you're still safe. But all the stuff that was generally a thing that was um, because of old Dota rules, they're starting to phase that out and as an old dota player myself um it's kind of hard to let those old habits die hard they kind of die hard so i want to make sure that you guys understand this this change um maybe you guys didn't know about it before but it is important one to know um the second thing that i want to talk about that i want to tell you guys about that i found really interesting is that couriers do not slow down when you have an empty bottle when you have an empty bottle and you put it into the uh, backpack, if you put the empty bottle into the backpack, then it actually goes its normal speed. And when you're at uh, the well, whenever you're switching out items, they instantly come to life. And they, whether they're a bottle and they gain all of their charges back, or whether it's just an item and you get your stats back, um, whatever. So if you do that with a courier, you can actually kind of courier before you even get a flying courier with a bottle um i would not suggest getting a bottle that early um i mean you can technically get it out but you should be able to refill it with rune and stuff in time um but you could technically do it before the three minute mark now um so you can put it into your backpack and then you do have to pull it out though if it's in your backpack it does not regenerate it does not fill up the bottle while it's in your backpack now, it's important because it's one more step, and it's going to be screwing up your commands with your other teammates. So let people know about it early, and I think it'll really help you improve your game and help you get that regen out a little bit faster, help you dominate that middle lane, or um, as I've seen a lot of people lately doing it, um, because there's so many runes and stuff, people just generally are picking up bottles and just going around to, um, going around to the actual roaming positions, and picking up those bounty runes, even though they only give a partial regen. Um, so it's not really that big of a buff when you think about it. It's probably something that they're going to keep for a while, because it's kind of one of those broken things that doesn't really help or hurt, unless you're in a particular situation. So remember that. Um, now, my third and final thing. 
Um, I personally love playing support. Um, and anyone who knows me is uh, knows that I have been playing support for oh, at least like five years, it seems like. Um, I did when I played with Toffees. Um, I actually was on a team with Toffees, uh, and I was the captain. I was an offlaner back then. Um, that actually wasn't that long ago, now that I think about it. We've, we were on and off a lot. Um, but my primary position was always support. And um, I always try to get like new creative ward spots. So one of the ward spots that I've found this patch that I think is great is there is a spot on Dire Offlane on the Radiant side, the, the medium camp to pool into the lane. It is actually, it has a, uh, the bottom part of it towards the Radiant side. There is a, uh, a ramp. And on that ramp, the, there's a little sliver that goes over for the box. And if you look at that little sliver on the box, that it actually, um, you can actually block from a high ground, you can block it on high ground, and see most everything in that area. It's really great because if you use it correctly and you put that down, it blocks that camp, and then you know when, you're, when the supports are rotating. And you can tell when you can go up and hit, hit the creeps, or if you don't see the, the supports, then you know that they are that they are there, and they're just hanging out in the trees to gank you. And then you can go into the jungle and do the constant thing that offlaners do. Um, so when you are playing playing in the offlane, um, I strongly, strongly urge you to try this ward spot out. I've had a lot of success on it. Generally, I play supports, and I just actually like smoke up and run out there and place it down. Um, people don't really deward de -ward it that much. Um, it's, it's, I mean, once you see it, you're going to be like, oh man, that is a, that, that's a great spot. And even if you take it like a, a scooch back, um, it still gives a lot of information and, uh, you can, you don't block the camp and you can like tell that exactly where everything is while they're doing the camp. So for like, if I have a, um, a bat rider offline in general, I'll leave it open and just have that ward there to give like perfect vision for when they're stacking it and when they're doing it. So you can just go in there, sneak in there and do it with me as a support on like um, Venge or something, you know. Um, so that's that's kind of the three things I've learned this week. Um, I want to bring you something new every week, something that you can understand, something that will get you that 25 MMR, maybe help you get that um, that edge on that that fight when, you know, that guy has maybe better mechanics, but you got the seek you got more secrets. So um, this is generally if you guys have any questions, um, I would like to answer them. Um, I'm gonna try to like start this off and uh, ask people where we're going um, and what 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 do you guys want want to do better. So at this point in the show, generally, um, I'm not gonna do it today because we're starting off. This is the new style um i want to let people know um, i'm gonna then answer questions here for like generally three minutes i'll read them off and um give you guys give you guys what you want to know if you need new information you need something that personally you want to talk to me i want to be here as a coach for you and I i'm not saying i'm i'm better because you know everyone has their own um their own way of doing things and their own style, but maybe I can give you a way to get get aggressive, and the way to give you a good logical point um, when supporting, um, when when understanding wards, when understanding the game in a new sense. Um, I'm a very aggressive player, so if you ever have anything, just let me know, and um, I'll uh, uh, I'll leave you guys at that. Um, so I'm gonna kind of get out here. And I'm going to um, <laughs> sign out. Um, I'm going to say special thanks to Toffees, a great friend of mine, for letting me do this. And um, I can't wait to give you guys more more information about uh, what what I can do and what um, and help me through this process. And I'm hopeful to hear what you guys have to say. Give me pointers because I'm here for you. I love this game, and I want to impart the knowledge that I've gained over the 10 years that I've been playing this game. Um, I also want to give a special thanks to all my fans out there.
that have supported me. Um, this is, it, it was great um, the past couple weeks. And moving forward, um, I hope to uh, give you guys what you deserve and give you guys the, the perfect um, information, give you guys a way to, um, you know, come together as a group and hopefully understand each other a little bit better. Um, so look out for more content in the future. Um, I'm actually going to try to be doing some other things. Um, I'm really enjoying this so far, working with Toffees. Um, so I'm going to be trying to get some more content there. Um, I'm also going to be trying to do some writing, um, whether that's through with Toffees or just understanding uh, Dota in general, writing some builds, writing some ideas of what I have to offer people. Um, uh, and I, I, have, I have some stuff up my sleeve. So um, if you want to, um, you can follow Toffees. Uh, you guys know that. You guys are already here. You sub subscribe to him. Help him out a little bit. He's he's awesome, man. I mean, he's he's big time, but he's given a little uh, a little uh, up and comer the chance to to talk, which is awesome. So follow him. Um, you can follow him. Jeez, uh, at Five Midas, I believe, or is it? It's just at Toffees, I believe. Yeah, at Toffees. Um, uh, and <laughs> oh man, he's gonna kill me for this. I should have written this down. Um, but anyway, you can follow me. Uh, I have a channel at Crazy Flub. I'm gonna be streaming on there and streaming on. Um, it's at Toffee's on, TV, you douchebag. <laughs> at Toffee's TV, <laughs> right there, <laughs> the man himself. Oh gosh, uh, I I love the guy. He's great. Um, so anyway, uh, subscribe here. Uh, subscribe at my channel. Uh, either way helps us out. Um, or you can follow me at Flub Dota. Um, on Twitter, um, and I'll be trying to let you guys know as soon as possible about uh, what you guys <laughs> what you guys uh, need to know. Um, so this is Flub signing off, saying that uh, I hope that man I should have had a good good sign off. I'll work on it next week, guys. I'll have a killer sign off, and I'll see you next week. All right, goodbye. <laughs>